and they sent me home. Oh shit, I only got 11 minutes. So my little... Keep it going for Morgan. All right, next up we have Dennis James Hawthorne Norman Reed Jr., better known as Rot. Awesome, awesome. I need to call my kids, man. Jesus, I can let them know daddy loves them. How y'all doing tonight? You having a good time? Good crowd? Love it. My name is Dennis James Hawthorne Norman Reed Jr. I hailed from the frozen wasteland of Alaska, lived there for 38 years, went to an Iron Maiden concert in the winter down in uh, California, and was like, hey, the sun goes up and down here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm a quitter. Uh, I don't know if you... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I quit drinking four years ago. Uh, I don't know why I did it, mostly because my doctor said I was going to die. Apparently, two fists of Jaeger a day is not good for you. It's not bad for you either. I don't remember any of it. I don't know what his problem was. Uh, a bunch of my friends started getting sick and, and dying because of drinking, and I, I found out that if you switch to tequila, it has agave in it. If you say that word right, it sounds better, but whatever. And, uh, and you can't get diabetes from it. So I switched to tequila, and then I immediately got divorced because my wife left me. It wasn't a good decision. Uh, yeah. No diabetes, though. No, no diabetes, no house, you know? She... <laughs> She was a Russian, so she took everything, you know? Yeah, and so yeah, Russia, why fucks you? Uh, it's all good, though. But yeah, I'm a quitter, man. It's funny because, like, I need my shit. So, like, I drink non-alcoholic beers. I have zero alcoholic. I've recently quit weed, but I smoke CBD, so that doesn't really have any THC in it. Thank God I have a girlfriend because I can't afford a flashlight, you know? <laughs> I'm from Bremerton. Well, I'm from Alaska, but I live in Bremerton. I would never say I'm from Bremerton. God, no, Jesus. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot of tweakers wandering around there. They look like zombies, man. They're always walking around pushing baby carts. That scares the shit out of me. If you ever see a baby actually in one of those baby carts, call the police. That's not their baby. All right? And everybody knows that once a tweaker touches the baby, the moms will take them back to the nest. That might be birds. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, man. I, uh, I, uh, I hate tweakers. Jesus Christ. I had one of them slash my tires one day, and then uh, when I was getting my tires fixed, another one sucked the gas out of my fucking truck. That's, that's not even a joke. That just pisses me off. Cost me a lot of money, and I don't even do drugs anymore. I used to smoke crack like a damn adult in the 90s, okay? That's why I have all my teeth. I know they're not pretty. They look like they're going through a rough divorce, and right now they're just separated. But come on, you know? I also look like somebody who found Jesus Christ and was like, hey, bro, you ever tried crack? And Jesus was like, nay. And then we smoke crack, and now the dude just hangs around. Yeah. He said he'd be back with my money in like three days. I never saw him. It was weird. Liar. Liar. I have a dog. Her name is Gypsy. I have a YouTube channel, and the only hits that I'm getting happen to be from my dog. So I thought maybe I could start an only pause channel for her. Like, just take little <laughs> pictures of her feet and see if people will send me money for that. Hasn't worked yet. It's okay. It's hard to get her to sit still. She's wearing a diaper now, and I just discovered I have a weird new kink. <laughs> That's okay. Peanut butter gets messy. What else? What else? What else? I, uh, I'm terrified of bears. I've had a lot of really real-life terrifying experiences with these beasts of animals. When I was three years old, one tore through our tent. My dad, being a badass hunter from Alaska, just was like, I'll stand here with the pistol and scare it off. You grab the baby and go to the car. So my mom grabbed me. Threw me in the back of the Datsun. She jumped in the front and shut the door. And, and she didn't shut my door, though. She just left it open. I think she was trying to get rid of me. It's okay. My dad being an Alaskan badass hunter uh, and a Vietnam War veteran and a sniper, uh, the very first time he caught me smoking marijuana through us through the scope of a 30 out 6 That was a terrifying experience as well. I was trying to get away from him on my little three-wheeler. Anybody remember the three-wheelers? The big red three-wheelers? Anybody got a friend that, like, you know, broke his neck and no longer gets to play with the rest of us? Spilled all my beer? Hate that guy. But yeah, man, I'm on the other side of the mountain smoking a bowl thinking this is a cool and peaceful event for myself. And uh, I look across and I see what looks like a star just pointed right at me. And I realized I was but seconds from death. I smoked that bowl really fast, though. Went back to him later. What else? What else? What else? I have a solution for the tweakers. I think that we should uh, send them over to Ukraine right now, up against the Russians. I think they would do really good as a fighting force. 
These are people that don't sleep, they don't eat, you know? You can send them over, they'll steal all the Russian furry hats and turn them into little meth cozies. You can give them anything and they could build anything out of it. Man, this is what bombing feels like, isn't it? This is awesome. I don't do this very often. I don't do this very often. This is what you get for being sober, man. I remember everything. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I went through COVID sober as fuck. Everybody else is going crazy and partying, and I'm just like thinking about my life and trying to become a better person so when everybody died, I could take over the world. <laughs> don't think it's going to work out for me very well. Do, 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 do. What else? My girlfriend the other day was dying her hair. And she texted me, hey, I'm about to jump in the shower. Do you want to join me? And I was like, hey, no, I don't. It, it seems like such an awesome and romantic thing to do with somebody. But the truth is, is while she's rinsing her hair out for 25 minutes, you're standing in the back of the shower freezing to death. You never get to get back underneath the hot water. Thank you, Joe, so much for that. <laughs> I jumped on this show, by the way. I was totally not prepared because I am always prepared for my shows, right? Yeah, right, whatever. What should I end on? What do a baby and an Etch-A-Sketch have in common? If you shake them both hard enough, they reset. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Ooh, that hurt. Don't do that. <laughs> that was bad. I didn't remember anything. Give it up for Rob. No, keep it, keep it in the church.